Hi, my name is Matt and I'm sailing my 27-foot Maxi Phoenix over 3,000 miles from the Netherlands to Spain. Today we are sailing from Faro, Portugal to Marbella, Spain, therefore crossing the Strait of Gibraltar. Stopovers are Masacon, Rota and Barbate. The total distance is about 250 miles. After a quiet night on the hook in a beautiful bay near Faro, I left to cross the border to Spain. just crossed the border to Spain and I will now change flags so we're running the uh, Spanish flag again today we're going from uh, the uh, wonderful Anchorage Bay near Faro to uh, Huelva and not even exactly Huelva but one of the smaller smaller marinas there I forgot the name of it uh, it's roughly 55 miles, so quite a long trip. I started very early this morning at uh, 7.30 or 7.15 or something like that to have the full day. There wasn't much wind so far, but now it has just picked up and uh, we're close hauling. We're making about 4.5 knots right now, speed over ground, which is good. And uh, yeah, my lips are bad from all the sun, so I'm putting some uh, Sun, sunscreen onto them but they're kind of yeah worn out a bit so hopefully by tomorrow or in two days it's gonna be fine again other than that everything's fine very good weather nice wind now coming up and uh, some smaller waves which are fun the dolphins were already here I didn't feel many of them anymore because now they kind of come every day so uh, yeah good sailing day and so, after a trip of just about 12 hours, we arrived at Masacon, where I restocked in the small town. The marina itself is nice and quiet. Being part of the regional harbour association, it was also quite cheap, and I only paid about 13 euros for my short stay. This is one of the ferries you will find all over the place, especially in the Mediterranean. They don't like cruisers because we always seem to be in the way, and we don't like the ferries because of, well, this. Looks like we'll have fish tonight. First time ever I've catched something. It's a small something. I've no idea what it is. Uh, but yeah, catch something. Quite nice. So it looks like lunch is, has been served. But now there's also dinner here. I'll check out what kind of fish that one is. It's called a mackerel. We continued our journey to the port of Rota as the wind finally picked up so we could sail without the help of the engine.
In order to make the most of the good weather conditions, again we only stopped for one night. Got some fuel in the morning and left for our next port, Barbate. The arena of Barbate was almost empty, an indicator of the season being nearly over. However, the weather forecast was good, and so very early in the next morning I would leave to cross the Strait of Gibraltar for the first time. It's known to be a tricky area for three reasons. Firstly, there's the traffic. Obviously, all ships need to pass the strait. Secondly, there are the currents. With a surface current and a tidal current acting together, your timing has to be just right in order to slip through. Going into the Mediterranean is easier than getting out though. Thirdly, there's the wind. It will either come from easterly or westerly directions, with the land formations creating a sort of funnel, which I think is called the jet effect. According to the pilot book the good people of the yard Midnight Sun gave me, there are over 30 knots of wind at least 300 days a year. It's 10 o'clock and we're in the middle of the Strait of Gibraltar. So just past Tarifa and now going towards Gibraltar itself. Wind is picking up nicely. There is a, an area of wind just uh, right in the entrance of the, of the Strait in the Mediterranean. The wind is blowing um, from our tail so we're going downwind. So far so pleasant, it will increase a little bit more, but shouldn't go up more than 20 knots. So pretty pleasant for this area and uh, yeah, looking forward to cross the strait. So there it is, Gibraltar in front of us. The wind has increased as expected, so I reefed in twice. And uh, since we're going headwind, uh, downwind, I had to take down the headsail because it would just uh, flap from starboard to port all the time. But we're still going five knots, probably some eight from the tide here. The wind is not that strong anymore as it was before, but we're making good headway and uh, almost done. Finally, the wind did pick up to around 25 to 30 knots. Hard to say without a wind meter, but with two reefs in the main and no head sail, I would still go well over five knots. Up to now there was no problem with traffic, as non-commercial boats will hug the coast in order to not interfere with the commercial traffic. 
However, there was a ridiculous amount of marine traffic at the entrance of Gibraltar. High-speed ferries and cargo ships would go in and out constantly, so a good lookout at all times was crucial. So, back in the med. Um, I'm going to Marbella actually today, after all, because the weather is nice and uh, I can do the extra seven or eight miles. So I'll have a better position tomorrow to go to the next place I will go to because the weather is going to be worse within the next days with uh, headwinds and strong winds as well. So the closer to the coast and the closer to uh, the northern part of Spain, the less wind, um, and I can actually continue my journey. So um, it looks pretty good. Not too much wind anymore right now, so I might at some point switch on the engine, so I will arrive in daylight, but overall everything's good. I gave it a try with the blister, but as you can see, the waves make it collapse. And so after all, I switched on the engine as the wind died down completely. After a total of 70 miles, I arrived at Bajadilla, near Marbella. And this is also where this video ends. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.